Hello, Trouties. All right, they've changed the format of live a little bit. There's, like it used to like count down for you. There's new little things. So if I'm looking a little confused for a second, that is why. But welcome to Facebook Live Friday. For those of you who do not know who I am, my name is Sierra Bailey. I am the designer, maker, everythinger here at Manic Trout, which is a handmade jewelry company. So on Fridays, I go live. I talk about behind the scenes with the business, and I also talk about style and fashion. And my favorite thing is when everything kind of combines together, like today, and adds a little special sparkle of one of my favorite things, and that is organization. So let's talk about changing of seasons with your closet. Now, there is a previous, I don't remember which number it is, but there is a previous one that I have done of these Facebook Live Fridays that talks about the colors, the textures, things like that. This one is going to talk about the actual, like, how to clean out the closet, not necessarily like why one wears seasonal things. So I am naturally a very organized person. I'm tidy. I'm the tidy maker, as I like to call myself. And... I have friends that all the time are like, share your organizing things. It's like your superpower. You need to talk about that more. So today, today I'm going to talk about that. Now, it's still where I live in Texas. It's still very warm. And it's kind of, I am from, I lived in New York for most of my life until my mid-30s. So I have both climates and kind of both backgrounds behind me. I understand like in Texas, we don't really like remove things from our closet as much because it's still pretty warm here. But in the Northeast, you absolutely, if you have the space and by space, I even mean like under the bed, we try to like remove the summer clothes and bring in the winter clothes. Like the sweaters come in, the bathing suits go out type thing. So I'm not even gonna get into the nitty gritty of that. I understand both of those things happen and know like depending on where you live in the country, you know, you may need to bring out heavier coats now, you may not. But you should still take advantage of kind of the switching of the two big seasons each year to look through everything in your closet and do a few things. So the first thing about getting your closet ready is the edit. And in this edit, you're going to look for a few things. You're going to look for clothes that need to be um, dry cleaned. Like I wear cute dresses, which means I'll wear them a couple of times before I actually get them dry cleaned. Coats, of course, you don't normally get dry cleaned. Um, as soon as something is a tailored shape, make sure you're reading the washing directions because those, like you can't steam some very tailored items. So make sure that you are um, following those directions um, or at least researching a little bit if you want to try a different method, if you know, you're not into dry cleaning or something. But you know, take a look at those items right now. And if you weren't very good when you packed it away as they're coming in, make sure that all of your winter items are cleaned, that there are no holes in them. Make sure that like moths haven't gotten to them. As you're kind of looking through this past season, again, you're looking for things that have like stains on them. If they have any rips or tears or holes, a button that maybe needs to be replaced. Maybe you need a new zipper that can easily be done by your dry cleaner or a tailor, things like that. You also want to keep in mind like, um, Sometimes, like I have a few white dresses that have kind of yellowed over age, so you may want to finally have to admit that they may be done or, or you know, have that uh, taken care of. Um, but I also start to look for clothes that like, um, if I've worn them so much because I hate shopping and wear things forever, if they start to like lose their shape and are no longer like looking good, this is the time, you know, to, to be really, to be strong, <laughs> get rid of the things that no longer look their best. So you're editing. You also are gonna do this with your jewelry. You're gonna look through your jewelry and see if there are pieces that are tarnished. And tarnishing, you know, one of the best ways to make things not tarnish is to wear them. Uh, pearls as well that you need to, like if you have pearls that are strung with knots, you are supposed to get those restrung, bring them to a jeweler and get them checked. If you're not wearing your pearls all the time, they can dry out. The oil of your skin actually keeps them in good condition. But in general, this goes for gemstones and things like that. You're gonna to want to, I like at the change of the seasons to take this opportunity to just use like a soft cloth, like a, I use like an old dish towel, it's lint free, and I wipe down all of my jewelry. I check to make sure all the clasps work, I make sure that all of my earring backs are there, I make sure that if anything is, um, you know, you check your settings, always check, you know, your stones and things like that to make sure that if you feel like you have a loose setting, you don't want to lose the stone, especially in like an engagement ring or a wedding band, so bring that to a jeweler to have that taken care of. Of. So, you know, like I said, it's this isn't about, um, it's not about color, it's not about style. This is really about like 
take the time, take a couple of hours twice a year just to go through your shoes, you know, make sure that you have, if you need to take your shoes to a cobbler, you know, if the heels are wearing down, if you buy nice shoes, take care of them, take them, I have a shoe guy, take them to a shoe guy uh, or shoe woman, you know. but you want to make sure that all of these things, straps on handbags, you know, like if you're wearing stuff all the time, it's like your car, you have to, you have to maintain. And I talk a lot about uh, especially as we get older and if you are working and in a professional atmosphere, you're probably buying more expensive items like nice suits and handbags that you're using. So you, you need to take care of these things. You need to take care of your jewelry. And that means that a couple of times a year you need to check. You need to make sure, you know, all straps, metal, everything like that is okay. Okay, so we're editing the closet. You're gonna make a pile, I have to hit a button, apologies on that. You're gonna make a pile for things that have to be fixed, things that go away, and things that are gonna go back into the closet. I mean, you don't really have to like take everything out if you know it's going to remain, but you know, give everything a once over. So once everything is out, make sure that you then take that fixed, cleaned pile and drop everything in its appropriate thing. I am so bad, I will put like a bag of clothes in the trunk and leave it there forever, it's horrible. <laughs> and I know we all do that. Oh, I went to the dry cleaner recently and I was like, oh my goodness, I have had stuff in the trunk since I moved and I moved last Last July. I mean, that's really bad. It was like Christmas when it came back though. I had all, all these new dresses. So you want to make sure that you're actually like, you know, doing something with the pile. And then of course, of your pile of things to get rid of, you have many options. These days, uh, if you make sure they're dry cleaned and then you can, um, if they are of quality, you can sell them online or at a consignment shop near you. Uh, you can of course donate to a variety of things, you know, use Google to find these things. So we are cleaning out we are mending, we are repairing. A lot of things you can do yourself. We are making sure, like I said, I'm gonna stress a little bit more on the jewelry side. You're making sure that everything is still together. Um, if you, you know, if something was broken, I, for example, have a uh, one year for free. I will fix anything that you have from Manic Trout um, and it's a very nominal fee if it has been older than that, uh, mainly because sometimes I will have to track down a material if something needs to be replaced. Um, but you can often contact the jeweler where you purchase something and they will help you maintain it because we all want your wonderful, beautiful pieces to last forever for you. So you're editing, you're cleaning, you know, you're getting everything mended and then you have the choice of either A, pack away the things that are out of season. So even in Texas, I, you know, once fall hits, I will pack away like tank tops and the, you know, obviously like sundresses, things like that. I'll either move them into another closet or, you know, move, I sometimes will move my closet around so that I am, you know, putting things kind of to the back and to the side that are out of season and moving the season together. So I'm kind of only looking at that part. I know many of us don't have like the room to actually put the clothes somewhere else, but rearranging sometimes works just as well for your brain and it makes you feel like you have fresh options. All right, so when you're putting everything back together, you then need to make note of things that you're missing. And this means, let's say you want to freshen up your looks um, and so you want to add in maybe some new pieces that are pulling some new colors that are in season. Great time to do this, but besides that, now, remember when I talked about the whites? So let's say like your favorite yellow blouses or white blouses for work have like yellowed or maybe, you know, in areas they get dingy and you have gotten rid of them. You need to make sure that you're replacing them because if you're getting rid of the staples of your wardrobe, you need to be bringing things back. So I would jot down a list. You don't have to go out and get it all at once, but I like to have a list in my phone. So if I'm at, you know, the store and I see something, I'm like, do I actually need that? And I'll look on my list and be like, oh no, you probably have nine things like that already. Or, oh my goodness, on my list, I actually have that I need three white blouses. So I should buy this right now that fits really well. Or I know that I need another, you know, know, a gray t-shirt that goes with this outfit or something. So like if you wear suits all the time and you constantly are like, man, I really wish that I had a blouse in this color, make sure you write that down in your list because you're going to want to fill in the holes as the season starts. And I'm talking about this in August because as we all know, fall clothes are already leaving the store. So you need to kind of plan ahead in this area. Now, this also pertains to accessories. So if you all, like last fall, if you, and sometimes it's good to, like I said, jot notes down in your phone as you think of these things, but maybe like you know that you were not wearing a particular dress because you didn't have the right shoes for it. Now is the time to go get the shoes so that through the fall and winter you can wear that. Or maybe you need a fabulous necklace to go with something. Oh, may I recommend manicchart.com? <laughs> but in general, like 
If you know that you're not wearing something because you're missing something, yet you love how it fits and you want to keep it, you need to get the thing or get rid of the piece of clothing because there's just no sense in keeping clothes around that you don't wear. All right, so let's say you've filled in the holes, you've repaired things, you've cleaned things, everything is back in the closet. Here's the magic, important, and most neglected item number three of cleaning out your closet. You know, we have the edit, the restock, and you now put some outfits on yourself and take some pictures with your phone and keep those pictures in your phone. Have a little folder in your photos so that when you know you have a big day and you're stressed out about something, you don't have to think about the awesome outfits that you can put together. You can actually just flip through your phone and look at the outfits, complete with accessories. If you don't want to put them on your body, although I do think that putting them on your body is helpful because it's easier when you have it on your body. For example, like sometimes the flare of a certain skirt or a certain cut of pant looks better with certain shoes and you can't really tell these when they are laying on the ground or in the closet. So you should put them on your body so you know all the things that go together unless it's something you wear all the time and are aware. But if you are not wanting to put them on your body, actually like hang it on the back of your closet door, put the shoes underneath it. I'm sorry, I have to hit another button. Put the purse with it, put the necklace around the hanger and have the whole outfit so that on those days where you are staring at your closet with your mouth open and you have no idea what to wear and the clock is ticking and you are getting more stressed out with every second, you can just flip through your phone and look at pictures. Some people also keep, um, I have seen really cool closets on Pinterest where people actually like mount a um, iPad or like a tablet. Oh my goodness, it's like every little thing used to be. Uh, I, I need a new phone. Uh, <laughs> they mount like a tablet like right on their closet door and then they can flip through and do that. That's awesome, but we don't all have an extra tablet lying around or that much time. So like I said, take some little selfies with your phone and then it's a great way to get dressed. So I, for some reason, my phone does not show the time. I am trying to keep some of these a little bit shorter because I won't go really long sometimes. I have no, long, no idea how long I've been talking. But I wanted to kind of bring this up as it's back to school time. I don't have kids, but I see everybody on Facebook going back to school and everybody's getting ready for it. So it's the perfect time. I know we're all busy, but take like an hour, take a couple hours if you can. Do it in the evening, on the weekend, you know, have a glass of wine, go in there and have some real time with your closet. You can bring your phone in there and put some Netflix shows on if you'd like to, you know, have some entertainment going on and make yourself feel like it's a little bit more fun. But get this done. You'll be really thankful when you go to reach for something to get dressed this fall. Either A, you have an outfit already decided, or B, you know that everything in your closet is like in tip-top shape because there's nothing worse than getting your clothes out for the winter, hanging them up, and realizing three months later that moths have eaten all of your sweaters. You don't want to do that. So get that closet sorted out and get ready for fall. And if you have jewelry needs, make sure you go to manictrap.com for all of the fantastic jewelry that is behind me. I will be back here next Friday at 1 p.m. Central with who knows what I'm going to talk about because I don't know yet. And in the meantime, if you were not able to make it live, I check the comments continuously because these videos stay up. So continue the conversation with me in the comments and make sure you're following along on Facebook to like Manic Trend on Facebook. Just click on my profile up there. It's like something, you know, it's a necklace of this area. I'm also on Instagram at Manic Trout and I love to hear from all of you Trouties. But besides following along, come back next Friday for a video of excitement and wonder. <laughs> Thank you again, and I'll see you next week.